My question is to the Treasurer. If companies are not making a profit, how is the economy stimulated by tax cuts for small business? If a business dies and doesn't have the capital, how could it benefit from a tax write-off? Shouldn't we be stimulating demand by increasing the money supply, by reorganising government to boost demand so that business can achieve a profit and a confident Australia? I call the Honourable the Treasurer. I'll be silenced on my right. Uh, well, I'd say to the honourable member, uh, in general, good businesses do well, uh, and bad businesses do tend to fail. The only thing that can make a big difference is if an economy is weak, and it causes good businesses to fail. And what we want is for the economy to strengthen. We want to lift the tide so that all boats rise. And most importantly, we want to strengthen the Australian economy to facilitate the innovation that is going to help to drive job creation. Because ultimately, jobs do not come from governments, they come from the enterprise of businesses and individuals. And our view is whatever we can do, whatever we can do to help the Australian economy to strengthen, the Australian economy to strengthen, we should do. Now we're going to do it within the envelope that we're provided. When we came to government, we inherited a budget that was hemorrhaging $133 million every day. The budget was hemorrhaging $133 million every day because Labor adopted the attitude that it's OK to spend more than you collect every day. So every day the Australian government had to borrow $133 million just to pay its bills. We reduce that to $96 million a day now, but it's still not good enough, and we readily accept that. So somehow we've got to reduce our own borrowings and reduce our own spending, at the same time lift the rest of the Australian economy. And we're doing that through a number of initiatives. It's all part of our broader economic plan. Uh, we are building new trade agreements with China, with Korea and with Japan. And they have been huge initiatives that are opening up the market for those vast number of Australian businesses in the services industry. And why do I point that out? Well, the honourable member understands the resources industry well. Mining and resources are hugely important for Australia, but just 9 per cent of our economy exporting 55 per cent of its share. So it's a fantastic exporter from 9 per cent of the economy. The big area of opportunity is 70 per cent of the Australian economy is services, health services, education services, tourism services, financial services, accounting services, property services. 70 per cent of the Australian economy, but only 17 per cent of our exports. And so by investing in small business, we are investing in the innovators and the job creators of the future. And we are opening the doors to new markets for those businesses. Because the jobs that are going to be there for our children and our grandchildren almost certainly haven't been thought of today. Therefore, the more we can put into innovation, the more we can put into reward for effort, the more we can put into small business, the more prosperity Australia is going to have. Yeah.